Today, we're going to show you how to work with slobs. And no, we're not talking about your roommate. All right, slobs, also known as Streamlabs. Here, we're going to go through this really quick. We're, we're going to pull a quickie on this one. Anyways, we're going to go to streamlabs.com. I'm going to click the little download button up here. Click download. After you do all of the, you know, download stuff, free TOS crap, you're gonna be greeted with this page. You're gonna click your platform of choice. We're gonna go to Twitch because that's where we stream on. And we stream on Friday and Saturdays at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Find me over there. You're gonna be greeted with your login here. Put in your personal info. Um, I'm not gonna do this on screen because I know Schism will show everybody and then anybody can log in to my account. So we're, we're gonna pull that off screen. Once it's logged in, you're greeted with this uh, screen overlay. Here, the screen is blank because we have nothing to input. This screen is what everybody else will see. Now, they already give you one scene. We're gonna go ahead and rename this one to starting soon. Just like that. So with your starting soon screen, usually it's just a image or a video. Here, it shows you all the sources that you can put in. Now, it looks scary, it looks daunting, but guess what? When you click it, it tells you what kind of files you can put in there. Media source, that's all your videos, display capture, display capture, video capture, webcams, etc. So with that, all you would do is go to where mine is a media source. It is a looping scene. I'm gonna name it what I want to. Click browse, find the file. I'm not gonna show you guys my super secret folder, but you just find where you put the stuff at boom there you go starting screen done easy peasy next scene you want to have a be right back screen that's when you're off cam same thing go in there this one's going to be a little tricky when you're adding your sources and you're going to have multiple things on there think of it as like making a sandwich you have your bread if you like bread you have your meat unless you're vegan you have your lettuce unless you don't like lettuce and then et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Whatever's on low. And then, and then like you flip that up, you know, that's what everybody's gonna say. I'll explain in a second, don't, don't worry. Akuna Matata. So where was I? This static image, be right back, add source. Go back to the super secret folder. Here's a trick, pro tip. If you have all your scenes, make a complete folder by itself that has all of your stuff there you can automatically go there anytime you need to put it on the google drive too you could do that because then you can carry it with you wherever if you need your sources but here's a trick dream labs carries your stuff in the cloud yeah the cloud anyways so we're going to go back to our super secret folder put the v right back screen on there awesome but wait there's just still this little black square here well, that's where I like to put the game or if I'm doing art, something, I always put that there just so people know that I am actively doing something. So what I'll do is I will add in game capture. And usually I like to rename this one PC because I also stream off of console. Boom. But notice how it's stacked on top. Now we are going to lock this one. We're going to drag this one underneath. We're gonna grab this top corner up here because that the be right back screen is locked. Oh yeah, look at that. Resizing it exactly where we needed it to. Boom, tag it in there how you want to. Be right back screen is done. New scene. We're gonna put this one as your gaming screen. Gaming, gaming screen. Add that there here same thing you go game capture because we game right look it's already saved it add source boom done then we're going to add another source we're going to go to video capture device which is going to be our webcams we're going to add our logitech because this one is being recorded off of obs so we're going to do this make sure you name it as cam it will look and it, this is all of your video sources and see that's where you see in the background now that is actually the game capture but we're going to go down and find our logitech get done 
there it is there's a logitech one now with logitech a lot of times you have to go in and instead of doing device uh default change it to custom change it to 1920 by 1080 boom full screen the reason why you want to do 1920 by 1080 is because when you size it down and you do your cam overlays and so forth it's going to make it 10 times easier speaking of cam overlays i'll show you how to do that we're going to go to image we're going to do add a new source we're going to name this one cam overlay add source go back to where your cam overlay is anyways cam overlay here it is bada bing bada boom this is not the right one but hey it works notice how i just dragged that one on top of it boom i stack it on top right just like so another quick tip add a group we're going to add a group here we're going to go cam why to show you we're going to like put this one in there we're going to put this one in there we're gonna open the, the cam inside of this group, put it there. The reason why is it makes all of this a lot easier to operate. And if you wanna hide your cam, it hides both the overlay and the cam. Where if you were just to have it on the outside and you undid the cam, undid the cam, now your overlay's there and it looks crappy. Cool, cool, cool. That's pretty much it. You have your, your starting soon screen, your be right back screen and your schism is still a nerd screen or gaming screen anyways so you're like wait how's he doing those cool transitions let me show you you can hit this little cog wheel here there's global transition mine says motion click the pencil here it will show you all your different options if you don't like the motion maybe you want to fade let's uh let's let's give it a fade when we switch scenes oh look at that nice fade that's it, that's it. But now, most important thing, what you need to do, you need to add this alert box. Your widgets are little, is all the little things that pop up on the screen, your alerts, chat box, dono bars, um, OnlyFans ticker, whatever you wanna do on there. It, again, kinda tells you everything, what you want or what you need. So spin wheels, stream boss, it, it goes on there. I'm not gonna go over through all that stuff. This is the most important thing. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Another quickie, alert box, add source. Now here, you want to select everything that you're going to have. If you're an affiliate, congratulations. You shouldn't even be watching this video. What the hell are you doing? But if you're watching this video, you're probably not an affiliate. So untick subscriptions because you won't need it yet, yet. I believe in you, I believe in you. I'm gonna put the bits because you want those itty bitties. Yes, they're called itty bitties. Donations merch if you have merch i've got a video on that coming up in the future turn off subscriptions obviously you want your follows host uh yeah go ahead and turn on your rage cloud bot store i uh, don't care about that done now you can go down to test widgets when you hit a follow boom there it is grab this put it wherever you want to just like so this right like i said this screen here don't, don't don't worry don't worry about this screen this 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 is obs this is Streamlabs. this is what everybody else will be seeing let's show you how to set up your alerts to make it more like you here we're going to go over here to dashboard it will open up the screen here go to alert box let it load up up here it is normally clicked on alert box version 2 it does all this this is going to be more advanced stuff let's go untick that one go to the basic one now this URL here, widget URL, you can make this and put it into OBS or you can you can do a lot of different things on this. Basically, don't show this to anyone. I mean, you can, because they'll get the alerts whenever someone follows you. Here, same thing. Notice how all these little things are ticked. Basically, all this does is showing what you're gonna be customizing. General settings, screen, leave it there. Alert delay, uh, it doesn't really matter. Follows. Here is an image that pops up. Click change media you can go down through here they usually have standard images yeah they have stock images say you want the the cat 
select the cat and you want to change the sound go to sounds select it and there you go you go through change out your image change out the sound and you can even put this on here name that's going to be the twitch name that follows you is now following this part here you can change however you want to afterwards if you want to test it out you will go to your stream labs click up here to editor and you will hit follow wait that 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 backfired that's not cool anyways moving on now if you want to have all your different sounds i will show you look i have this right here my instance all your little sound boards however you want to you can go through and find your sounds all right now if you want gifts and a uh, pro tip i'm going to show you how to make it transparent on there so we're going to go to giphy let's go with whatever or float your boat doesn't matter but notice how all these are they're not transparent well go up here click stickers now these are transparent right these little checkered stuff means it's transparent so like that download it throw it into stream labs bada bing bada boom there you go that's it that's how you work with stream labs oh wait but how do you do your uh how do you know you're streaming to twitch well okay calm down calm down let's let's get going we're gonna go over here to the cogwheel settings you're gonna go to stream logged in it already has your stream key put in there right right if you where you want your recording path general if you want to go advanced you can but your like your output 3000 bit rate they will run a test twitch is really good about running tests and making sure you're in that bit rate and it'll kind of tell you where to go hardware uh if you have a nvidia 1660 or higher use invec if not use software change your bit rate based upon what they recommend they'll tell you how to do that when you log in through twitch and you go through your twitch academy that's it that's it i'm i'm done i'm done that's it there's nothing else anyways guys if you have any more questions make sure to follow me over on twitch or on twitter at the bad merc like subscribe ring the bell do the other stuff but no for real it does help us out if you like the video comment ask us questions uh, you can find dibs over there as well he'll be able to help you out if you need it anyways i'm out schism still a nerd